Biker TV is brought to you by Classic Iron Motorcycle Museum, Lincoln Electric, Hogzotic Custom Cycle. Welcome back to Biker TV. This week, thanks to Tourism Yukon, we're off to ride Canada's true north for the first annual Ride Yukon. Four days of motorcycles, music, and midnight sun. It's the inaugural run, and we're going to do this year to year, and we're hoping that it just builds and gets better. And our main thing uh, this year is to make sure everyone enjoys the Yukon and understands what we're trying to do up here from a hospitality standpoint. It's just gorgeous out here. I'm looking forward to the ride and the, the train ride tomorrow morning, although it's early. It's very early, but I'll be there, and I want a cinnamon bun at the end for sure. <laughs> Well, Heather, you're going to see some country tomorrow on that train that'll just knock your socks off. It's absolutely beautiful, and uh, uh, you'll you'll want to do it again and again. And then tomorrow night, uh, we've got the bun run into Braeburn. If we can keep everybody awake long enough to leave here about 10 in the evening, uh, we'll be up in Braeburn about midnight, and uh, so hopefully see the sunset around 11, and then hopefully the the sun will come up again around 2:30. On this road, there aren't too many animals, but you just never know. This early in the morning, you might see a couple of uh, gophers. Yeah. A couple of gophers, yeah. <laughs> I think you know what I'm saying. I think you know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is my friend Jimmy. Jimmy, where are you from? Fairbanks. Fairbanks. Is nobody Keith? Keith. Where are you from? North Pole. North Pole. You're lying to me. No. You want to see my my driver's North license? North Pole. Alaska. No. See? Oh, you can't Sorry. That. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Guy. And where are you from? Guaidos. Good. So you're going, you're going for a train ride with us today? Uh, I'm going to go down the road with you guys, following around. I don't think many people are making it out, though. It's It's early. No, it's not early. Not white horse. And when you're on your motorcycle, there is no time. Time doesn't exist on a motorcycle. I'll agree with you in a couple hours. <laughs>
You must you must have traveled along this route before. Oh yeah, many times, many times. Tell me a little bit about the spot we're stopped at. Uh, this is Emerald Lake. It's probably the most photographed lake in all of the Yukon and probably half of Western Canada. It's just a neat little lake. Well, I can see why. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Yep. It kind of makes you want to go for a swim, but I bet you it's cold down there. Okay, Carol, let's go. My backpack through. This is where you sit. That's where I sit. You don't have the the hat. I got my special 73 hat. Oh, all right. I just kind of pictured a some kind of a conductor type hat. Hi. This is cool up in here. I like it. So, how long are we going to be on the train? You're going to be about an hour and 45 minutes along the lake to Lake Bennett, and then an hour into Fraser, and then two hours or an hour and 30 minutes into Skagway. How old is this train, actually? This engine was built in 1947. It's one of the last Baldwin engines built. Some of the parlor cars we got were built in 1883, 1893. Yeah. It's awful noisy up here. Uh, this is quiet time. Wait till it's moving and it's just ear shattering up here. This gets booting her along, eh? Yep. Do you wear uh, earplugs or anything for the noise or are you just used to it? Huh? Are you just used to the noise? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's your name? Harpo. Harpo. Yeah, from Calgary, Alberta. And what do you do? Well, this, ride around. Take you shots. do this? Yeah, that's what I do. I travel all over North America, taking shots, various biker rallies, and. So, uh, what's your title? Photo hog. Photo hog. <laughs> How are you liking this event today? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's a historic ride for sure. Yeah. It's nice to uh, be a part of those things. And uh, rode up here from Miami, actually down in Key West is where I started, but 5,600 miles up the north of Fairbanks to the Arctic Circle. What are you collecting there? Revenue. Revenue? Yeah. Do you have a ticket? Do I have a ticket? Did I need a ticket to ride this train? No, I well, can take you halfway for free. He's obviously... Uh... The other half is going to be a bit of a problem. So how come you guys ended up in the last car here? We're the bad kids. We've been banished to the last I'm car. not surprised at all. <laughs> I can usually tell people right off the bat, after doing this for so many years, you can... It doesn't take long. You may keep this as a souvenir. So you're a good judge of character. No, I'm a good judge of bad character. <laughs> Try to be good for the remainder of the journey, okay? The only way that's going to happen is if I'm not here. If you throw me off the train. Hoping that it's not too late to be the one. 
I guess what I'd like to say is that Yukon is a very accessible, a very affordable destination. We have a lot to offer in terms of attractions, different festivities, events to take part. And as you can see, uh, we really are flexible. We, uh, we meet actually over 300,000 visitors each year who cross our borders into the Yukon. And it, it very much is becoming a destination of choice for visitors worldwide. Better not make this lead boil lead again. After the break, watch us go into diabetic shock on the Midnight Sun Bun Run. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you by Task Productions. Well, it's one of the longest days of the year in the Yukon, and while most people are parking their bikes at 10 p.m., we're just gearing up to go for a ride on the Midnight Sun Bun Run. Car cross, is that where the cinnamon buns are at? That's what I want to know. Cinnamon buns? In CarMax. Well, cinnamon bun, Brayburn. Yeah. Brayburn, that's right. It's called the Midnight Bun Bun Run. Midnight Sun Bun Run. Yeah, Midnight Sun Bun Run Bun Run. Yeah. People are calling it the fun bun run and all kinds of nonsense. What is it actually? It's uh, called the Midnight Sun Bun Run. That's what I thought. You see, I had it right. <laughs> just like to say uh, I want a windshield when I grow up and picture me on a sport bike anyway uh, any bike it doesn't matter <laughs> I rode I rode sport bikes when I couldn't afford my Harley <laughs> I rode sport bikes when I couldn't afford sport bikes <laughs> we, we all come up through the ranks somehow dirt bikes sport bikes finally you get too old for it all and you get yourself <laughs> an easy chair and you go down the road in your easy chair let's go find some biker ladies we're on the move all these people that you see that are helping out they're all giving their time and they're volunteering so oh, well it yeah. seems pretty well organized and you've had a, an amazing turnout more bikes than I expected yeah I'm uh, I'm very pleased. I don't know who's counting bikes, but it's got to be close to 100 anyway. I think it's more. I think more? it's more now. Yeah, I think the last count was 96, and then a bunch more pulled in. So That's what we're after. Heat, fire. There. Yep. i got to warm up my cinnamon buns, you know. <laughs> That's looking pretty promising there, Steve. Oh, I thought those were for me. Eat them all, yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Steve. Steve Watson. Steve Watson. You're kind of a famous guy around here. Why would that I'm be? Famous anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. How long you been making cinnamon buns? Oh, about 15 years. Where exactly are we right now? Brayburn Lodge. It's in here, about 60 miles north of. North of Whitehorse on the Klondike Highway. Yeah, I'll take this one. Hey, hey, hey. That was the best one. Where is it? No, he got Where the best one. Oh, I like this one right there. Hey! Sorry. That was the one I wanted. You lose, you lose, babe. Oh, look at the size of his head. I told you. I told you. They're as big as your head. <laughs> Did you take part in the uh, parade today? Yes, I did. And why were you not riding beside me? That's what I want to know. Because you're way at the back. 
I wasn't at the back. Oh. I weaseled in up front. I'm good at that. Okay, I show I was up late and weasel in at the front. I was way at the back so I could take pictures of the long column. Can't do that from the front. The long column. Are you going to ride a Harley when you grow up, bud? Yeah. Yeah? You like motorcycles? Yeah. Uh, you got a leather jacket yet? Not yet. What are you doing here today, Harper? Uh, I actually came looking for the gals from Biker TV. You did? Well, you might have just found one. I'm not sure. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I found it right there. <laughs> um, what else? What else is going um, on today? Riding around. Gonna, I think there's some... Uh, Bike games and things later on. Big dance later tonight. A big dance. I'll twirl um, you around the floor later. You're gonna twirl me around the floor. All right. Well, you're gonna have to give me a beer or two first. Thirty seconds. Ride as slow as you possibly can, and don't run over the road, kill, because the bones might pierce your tires. Ready? Ready? Get set. Go slow. <laughs> now, Craig, you fix this corner over here. That's kind of a sloppy bed, huh? Come on. Don't go away. We're going to draw for the bikes right now. Oh, yeah. I'm winning a bike today. That's there right. You go. That's right. Um, no, but can I still? You may still. Tell me again what, what your charity is. Okay. The uh, Yukon Special Olympics. It's, it's neat to be able to help the local kids out. So all the money raised um, by your hog chapter stays within beautiful White Horse, am I right? Beth, in the Yukon. In the Yukon. You bet. Stick around. There's lots more cool Yukon stuff coming up. today where are we after we're, we're heading down miles canyon um which is uh all the yukon river comes through very narrow gorge and play along that road and uh, along the air um aircraft base the water base and uh we'll get it's a beautiful beautiful ride What's your name? Uh, my name's Craig. They call me Blue. Why? I have a tendency to go to rallies with blue hair. Um, who are you? I'm Roger. And uh, how long have you been a member of the Hunt? Three years. Three years. And uh, do you have any kind of a fancy title? Yeah, I'm the oldest guy. Um, how long have you been a Hog member? Oh, God. He's looking at his coat. Uh, what year did I join? 2002. Very good. 
Yeah. How do you like it? I love it. And what do you do? Like weekly rides or what do you do? Well, I don't live in Whitehorse. I live in Watson Lake, so I'm one of the only members down. There's two members in Watson Lake, <clears throat> which is five hours from Whitehorse. So when oh. I get up here, I'm, I'm often riding on my own until I get up here and catch up with the rest of the guys here. You're French, obviously. Oh, yes, baby. Uh, how long have you been a member of this chapter? I've been a member for the last seven, eight years. How does your uh, girlfriend feel about you calling the biker chicks baby? She love it. She's okay with it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, today's ride was kind of short and sweet, and the weather looked kind of shaky at the end there, but we got through it. We got a little wet, but it was okay. good, right? It was great. All rides are good. No all bad right. rides. No bad rides? No bad well, rides. you know. Some better than others, that's all. That's right. I was yeah. just going to say, I've had a couple <laughs> of pretty bad rides. Chilly rides. Chilly yeah. rides. But yeah, all good. It was cold last night, too. I was freezing last night. It wasn't night. cold yesterday. I know, but late at night, I, I got frostbite because we were booting her. Yeah. We weren't speeding or anything, of course not. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I never speed. 90k of a kilometer, that's it. Yep. Obey the speed limit at all times. <laughs> yeah, hey. right. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, I'd just like to thank you uh, and the members of your um, your um, Yukon Hawk chapter for joining me on these rides. It's been just fantastic. Very welcome, Heather. And hopefully we get to come back and, and do that again Love with it. you. Love it. You bet. Rest of thoughts live for souls Feed them as they come Love them as they go That was a blast. Special thanks to Tourism Yukon, especially our good friend Kathy, Dick Watts, a.k.a. Dr. Dick, from Yukon Harley-Davidson, Dealey Harley-Davidson Canada, and the Yukon Harley Owners Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Biker TV. Tune in next week. Angelo Mosca's throwing a big bash. Biker TV's first ever biker wedding. Biker TV has been brought to you in part by Motorcycle Mojo Magazine, the Canadian Biker Build-Off, Victory Motorcycles.